and another detail which might be relevant to oxygen, I mentioned that heart disease and angina pain is caused by one factor, low oxygen in the heart tissue. If we start to analyze studies on cancer, there are dozens, probably hundreds of studies, which tell you just by the title of the study, I have them on my website, telling us that hypo, uh, cancer cells and the grow, grow of cancer tumors depends on one factor only, on the cell level, oxygenation of the cells of cancer cells. So if there is a lot of oxygen, cancer cells would not be able to grow. But when oxygenation is low, we produce abnormal environment in our cells, and cells start to grow up, uh, like with very, very high rate. So the cancer tumor grow depends on oxygenation. Titles from professional oncological research would immediately tell us that uh, oxygenation is crucial in order to understand, prevent cancer. For example, we have such studies uh, with titles, hypoxia, a key regulatory factor in tumor growth. This is like a title from professional research, which I remember by memory because I have like talks to people, so like I, I tell it many times, so it kind of sits in my mind. Prognostic significance of tumor oxygenation in humans. This is another title of professional uh, study in cancer. Uh, Otto Warburg got no Nobel Prize 70 years ago for his discovery that malignant cells they require low level of oxygen, so hypoxia. This is, was the first idea uh, was stated by the doctor that cancer, in fact, on the cellular level, caused by one factor only, although secondary causes, like other causes, environmental, we are literally like hundreds of them. People would say, like, toxic food produce cancer, stress, yes. uh, nutritional deficiencies. So there are secondary causes which, I, which we discussed in the past. We all of them would cause cancer, but how? By making our breathing heavy. So if you think about Anything which is abnormal, it makes our breathing heavy. And for breathing, it's able to develop, to intensify the abnormal pathological processes in the human body, be it development of diabetes or cancer or heart disease. 